Hey guys, it's PC Hacker 11 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a piece of software called Image Converter Plus. Now, Image Converter Plus is basically what it says. It's a software that lets you convert images or pictures to different files and formats. Now, this has a free version and a pay for version. I have a registered key of the pay for version. Uh, I want to say thank you to the people at imageconvertedplus.com for sending me the free code to this. And so, uh, basically, the only difference between the uh, registered pay for version and the free version is that whenever you convert something with the free version, it'll have a little watermark on it. And whenever you convert something with the registered version, it won't have the watermark on it. So, anyway, uh, if you want to check out stuff about Image Converter Plus, go on to their website, imageconverterplus.com. I'll put the link in the description. And as you can see here, we have the free download and the buy license to it. And uh, as you can see here, we have a list of its most features, but uh, I'm not going to go over on the, too much on the website. I'm just going to get straight to my Image Com Converter Plus review. So, when I open the software, uh, it'll bring up uh, the window. Just wait for it to load. So uh, once you open it, it'll come up to this window. It's a pretty standard, basic window. It's set out so that you can convert your images really easily. And so uh, this is the main window for it. But I find it easy to actually use the drop down menus, like the right click context menus on this. So. Uh, once you first launch this up the first time, it'll bring up a flash window, or I don't know if it'll do this for you, but I know it did for me. When I loaded it up the first time, it brought up a window in flash that played a bunch of different tutorials on how to use it, and I thought that that was pretty cool. So uh, if if you want to check it out, then go ahead and check it out and check that out, but uh, this is just going to be my review of it. So this is the main window here. We have two tabs up here, a tab for profiles and a tab for photos. And the tab for profile... I'm going to keep my color scheme the same. And uh, under the profile tab, you have the option to create a new. And the new will basically just create like a new image or a new conversion. And uh, it'll start blank. If you go to open, it'll actually bring up a window where you can open different images. And I'm not going to do that now. In, in save and save as is basically save as will save it as another file. Save will convert the file you already have. And so here you have the save image as. You can save them as DDS, BMP, JPEG, GIF, PNG, and all the rest of these formats down here. And here you have the converted images will be saved to. Uh, it says my documents here, but if you click onto this little thing right here, you can choose the folder. I like choosing my desktop just because. And then with the operations with target file name, you can go over, click onto this tab, and you have all these different options like you can have the type title that's for like making file names and searching for pictures and then photos is basically for adding images or adding folders for converting multiple files at once so basically that's the uh, main conversion window now I'm gonna click on no because I don't want to save what I whatever I didn't do so basically that's the uh, conver the main window of the thing but uh, as I said before I find the main window was very useful but the most useful tool out of image converter plus actually was the right click context menus and what I mean by that is I have a folder here with all my pictures loaded up into it and let's say I want to go to this red glow wallpaper and I want to convert it to a JPEG so I right click on it and as you can see it has a preview of my image right here and it has a little tab here that says convert to well that's basically a right click context menu that was added thanks to image converter plus if I go to convert to I can convert it to a BMP, a GIF, a JPEG, JPEG, PNG you can go to custom conversion down here or you can copy a clipboard or you can actually set it as your wallpaper from here so it actually has a bunch of its own features and you convert it in like true colors, black and white, and stuff like that. So I actually thought that this right clicks context menu was the most useful tool out of all of them. So let's say I want to convert it to a JPEG colored 75%, and that I'm going to save it to C Users Owner Desktop, which is my source pad for it. And so it'll convert. As you can see here, it brings up this little thing in the bottom of the screen here that shows that it's converting. So. Let's just wait for that. 
So now it's done converting, and it'll bring up the folder with your converted file in it. So uh, it's on my desktop, so I don't want that folder open. And so now it'll bring you up to these two little things up here. It'll come to you with your converted image, which is my red glow wallpaper. And then it'll come up with this ICP, which will have all the different information on. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, but when I opened it, it gave my registration code number and uh, all the stuff. So I'm not going to go ahead and open that to show you guys because it has my registration number in it. And I don't want to give that to you. But basically, yeah, my image is converted. So uh, I'm going to actually go down and test the right-click context menu and see what the set as wallpaper thing has. So I'm going to click fit to screen. And hope it sets my wallpaper. And uh, so I click fit to screen, and it had this little thing on here. So let's try that again. Set as wallpaper center. Oh, I think the problem is because I converted the image, I converted it at the wrong, wrong size. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and convert it again. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I'm new to it. So convert to. I'm just going to convert it to a BMP true colors and stuff. So, once again, I'll convert it to my desktop. And uh, I think my screen recorder might be slowing things down. That's why it's doing this. It worked much faster without the recorder. But, uh, okay, so now we got the folder opening up again. And so, uh, let's hope that that actually converted its size. So, I'm going to go ahead and click set as wallpaper fit to screen weird okay now it now it said my wallpaper fit to screen I just had to wait for it to respond sorry if BB flashback pro is throwing this off a little bit but basically uh, I still have a lot to learn with that apparently apparently when I clicked on convert to JPEG it actually gave dimensions there I should have clicked on here convert to JPEG colored 75% because that actually had the right dimensions that I needed for set it as my wallpaper but anyway that's just my minor mistake. So anyway, it's Image Converter Plus. It has a pretty good, easy to use background. They have a bunch of tutorials on how to use it on their website, and they have a tutorial that uh, shows you how to use it once you first install the software. So uh, I like that. So if you guys are interested in it, check it out at imageconverterplus.com. I'll leave the link to it in the description. And I want to say thank you to all the people at Image Converter Plus for sending me the registration key for this. I will definitely keep this. I like this program. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see ya.